Look at that beauty. That is a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Really? Okay, this is a little embarrassing, but this butterfly has been in this rehydration chamber for a couple days, and this is actually, I left it on in a little too long because I want to show you something that happens, and this is this is not good. The 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 abdomen of the butterfly. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. The abdomen of the butterfly actually has mold starting to grow on it. I left it in like two and a half days, and that's too long, guys. It's you don't want to leave them in the rehydration chamber that long. Uh, I ran out of chlorocresol, which is an, uh, an agent, an anti-mildew agent that you can put these crystals inside of your rehydration chamber that keeps your specimens from molding. So you can look up chlorocresol. We used to get it from BioQuip before they went out of business. I don't know where to get it now, so I have to look that up. But that's my bad. I should not have left the specimen that long, but we can, it's, it's not, it's very salvageable. So we are just going to scrape some of the mildew off and and uh, deal with that that way. So that's my bad, guys. That's uh, kind of a rookie mistake on my part. All right, guys. So, it, you know, this old can of chlorocresol is, um, you know, it's, it's old and it's rusting. And, but I believe there's still some good stuff in there. This thing's at least 25 years old. And yes, it's poisonous. Right on here, it says that it's an irritant, poisonous, may be harmful to the eyes, skin, and mucous membranes if contacted. Immediately flush with copious water for 15 minutes. Give access to fresh air and call a physician. Um, one of the things that I've, I've researched chlorocresol before I go making a video about it. It is a, an organic compound and it's a monochlorinated M cresol and it's used in the world for antiseptics and preservatives. Uh, it's actually put in preservative creams and skin antiseptic creams and it's kind of interesting that you put poison, I mean that is labeled as poison on your skin for antiseptic, but uh, it's been used in the industrial production of hairpin and workers that have been exposed, it says, I found a report that have uh, had unilateral facial palsy, uh, and it's a reoccurrent thing when, it, when it overexposed to this. So this is not something that you want to deal with too much, guys. This is a poison, and it's not something that you want to be touching. It's not something you want to be inhaling. So we're just going to use a little tiny bit, put it in our um, rehydration chamber in the right way, so that we can have our uh, specimens not get moldy. It, it, what it does, guys, it's a antiseptic, which me, or in a preservative. Basically, what it does is it keeps mold from growing. So if you put this stuff in your uh, chamber here, you know you got water. Anytime you put, you have water, and you have, um, you know, insects, you're going to get mold. So I here I have water inside my fish gravel, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some hot water, we're gonna add some chlorocresol, and then we're going to get our rehydration chamber up and ready so that we can use it. Well, one thing we are in this nation, USA, is we are impatient people. And so uh, one thing, I wanna mount some moths, but the problem is I don't wanna wait until tomorrow. And if you just put room temperature water, it will get your moths and butterflies to rehydrate, but it's gonna take 24 hours. So I don't wanna wait that long. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this little water heater. We use it to make tea. My wife uses it to make tea. But today what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use it to make our water really, really hot. Because if our water in our chamber is really hot, you know what's gonna happen? That Those water molecules are going to get into those muscles a lot faster and they are going to make that, make those butterflies and moths uh, super pliable a lot, lot faster than they would if we just use room temperature water. Heat plus water means energy movement, makes the molecules move faster, makes things work faster. So 
This thing will boil this water very, very fast, probably within like 30 seconds. In the meantime, while, it's wait, while we're waiting, let's open up our chlorocresol can. This is old, so I'm hoping it opens nicely. Open it opens nicely. Don't have any problems. I got my can open. Here we go, guys. There it is. Chlorocresol is a colorless, or maybe it's even a white, crystalline uh, chemical substance. It's been in this aluminum tin now for 25 years. It still smells just like I remember it. Um, and believe it or not, when you put some into your rehydration chamber, it lasts for years. It doesn't just dissolve. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to just pour it all into the water. Uh, you, you can just you can just put some. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some on this paper towel. And what I'm going to do is when my water boils, I'm going to dump the water in, saturate my paper towel. Then I'm just going to sprinkle some of this on top of the paper towel. And what that'll do is it'll activate enough. The water will activate it enough to become somewhat airborne and stop the growth of any mold that might come onto our specimens when we put our specimens in. So, um, yeah, you can smell it. It, it, it has a very strong chemical or <laughs> odor. All right, guys, our hot water is, well, it's hot. Oh yeah, it's boiling. So that took it all of about a minute and a half. So I'm just going to pour this boiling hot water in this rehydration chamber. I'll just pour pretty much, pretty much all of that. Okay. And then what that'll do is that'll ensure how it's hot. It's boiling, right? Now, I'm just going to dump. I don't need a whole lot, guys, if I remember correctly. I just put a little bit in. And believe it or not, there we go. So I just put some crystals in. And there's plenty of, the, of it that is... Uh, you know, in the powder form or small crystalline form. Then I put my, I always put a uh, styrofoam piece over the top of my cardboard or of my paper towel. And I put my butterfly moss specimens on top of that. Now, guys, it's, my chamber is ready for some specimens and we are gonna get to that in for future episodes. I actually also, if I am going out of town and I'm, let's say I go to the tropics, it's very humid, and you ca you're catching butterflies, you're catching moths, and you don't want them to spoil while they're in your Tupperware. You don't have a cooler, you don't have ice, you don't have a refrigerator or a freezer. This is a great way to preserve your specimens. I actually have, I actually made these years ago, and these are little tiny containers or paper towels that have been tied up that contain chlorocresol crystals. And what I'll do is I'll put those on the bottom of my uh, Tupperware. And even in the American tropics where it's 100% humidity all the time, if you put those, uh, like one of these inside of a Tupperware with your specimens, it will keep uh, your specimens from growing mildew, which is a big, big problem for collectors down there. So uh, where do you buy chlorocresol? Now that is a big question. I know you can get it at various chemical supply stores. Um, I have not purchased it myself in 25 years. This is stuff that I bought from BioQuip way back in the day, and now BioQuip is out of business, unfortunately. So uh, if you have any place where chlorocrease salt is, uh, is available to order, please let me know, and uh, we will share it on future videos. But guys, I'm gonna make sure this is sealed up so that my chlorocresol crystals will last me for years to come. I don't, I don't need to buy anytime soon. This has lasted me 25 years. Well, let's see, as long as I can keep the can from rusting out, I should be good. But guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty of um, moth bird, <laughs> butterfly and moth mounting uh, videos here for you. We're gonna curate our collection and we're gonna keep mold from eating our specimens. So guys, take care and uh, we'll see you out in the field. Bye now.